Bob Dylan didn't do anything with this. It's like about 50,000 like songs have that. Oh, yeah. And about 50,000 songs have this exact same guitar. Yeah, pretty much. Quentin, welcome. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Paul here at Music Villa, Quentin King. And uh, we kind of sat down here and we were going through these guitars. And we're like, mm -hmm. what are we going to do? And then we just thought we'd talk about a few mahogany guitars. Mm -hmm. Okay. Not going to blindfold you not this time. A, not an exhaustive list of all the mahogany options yes. out there. Just a few. So just to, to point... Uh, point of uh, order. I don't know what yeah. you'd say. Just a lot of times, what we what we're trying to feature is kind of dependent on Paul's inventory. And yes. let's just say that you know, as a destination acoustic guitar store, there's turnover. So we have yeah. these great plans to yeah. do comparisons or whatnot, and then we go up on the day of uh, we decide to come in and yeah. shoot, and then. And then the we're missing, we're we're missing we, the guitars yeah, we need for this comparison. like amazing blindfold so, test. So please be patient with us. We have a lot of great ideas, and there's been great suggestions about how, you know, some of the blinded tests. We're just we're, we, we're uh, subject to the availability of the inventory. Yes. And so we are planning to, to get to those. We just need yeah. to get all the stars aligned to make that happen. But yes. anyway, back to, all right, back to this. Mahogany. So we're going to talk mahogany. We're just going to talk about a couple of iconic mahogany mm -hmm. guitars and maybe just show you the differences. Mm -hmm. Not really trying to, you know, we're not trying to like, it's you not know, which one's better. It's just, it's just different. You know, maybe it's a, a classic. Kind of a, why would you, why would you want a mahogany? Right. You know, exactly. Well, and you know, a lot of people don't realize the classic hummingbird, it's a more of a square shouldered guitar. Mm -hmm. It's a mahogany guitar. A lot of people don't realize that is a mahogany guitar. It's got a and lot of volume for a mahogany. It's a cool guitar. It's, 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 it's classic. Mm -hmm. um, millions of songs. I mean, there's just so many hits mm -hmm. that have come out of this guitar. It, it's iconic. Yes. No, I mean, it's got an iconic sound. Yeah. And to my ear, it just it just sounds very sweet. Yeah. It's got a sweet tone. Yeah. And you either have to uh, love the red or, or, or not. And some people... Here, we're all, while we're let's, on classic Gibson, all right, yeah. let's go classic J45. That one's the oh. vintage. Uh, it's got an Addy top. It's um, There's a stock J45 as well. But this is just gives you a good example of that. This one's got, see? Oof. It's got a little bottom end. Yeah. They're just so different, and you want to play different things on it. You I, want to I kind agree. of strum and do different things. That you're already okay. playing different. What I'm going to tell you is that you know it's uh, this one feels a little lighter again. So I'm just yeah. going to point out what I always think is this correlation between lightness and projection. This one yep. has that nice. Well, that, this one has the lightness too because it's a really mm -hmm. thin finish. They only do really like thin. a couple okay. of coats. Mm -hmm. Lacquer is actually fairly heavy. Mm -hmm. When you do like nine coats of lacquer, mm -hmm. whatever they do on here, this one's got like two coats or something. It's mm -hmm. a it's a it's a different it's finish. Just, it feels like a yeah. It feels like a, an what's a, like some type of amplifier. You know, it wants to to move some sound, and this is so, you know if you this is classic now. Now we're switching into Martin D18. This is yeah. a stock D18. It's a workhorse. It's a uh, it's a cool guitar. Yeah, yeah. This one is. Uh, I know it feels like home to you. It does. Well, you know, it's um. I gotta say, I really appreciate the sound. I'm, they're just. They I'm on the different. record as kind of a Martin guy because that's right. just that's the guitar that I you... associated with the genre I primarily play. But that one sounds right. really nice. This is. Again, you know, this Quentin is a uh, you know he's a, he's a bluegrass guy. Kinda, he like, kinda, 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 mostly. You're an everything guy. Nah, I, I play in a band with this guy, and whatever you throw at him, he just knows it. So, but when I hand you something. You play what the guitar needs. That's what I appreciate about you. 
You're not listening to me again. No, I'm not. I'm totally just like... <laughs> so, You're getting back into your it's zone. like uh, Charlie Brown's teacher over here, and I'm just <laughs> trying to play and... Wah, 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 wah. Trying to give you a com- uh, compliment. No, I appreciate it. You're very kind. It's, okay. uh, you're very generous. Now, just for the fun of it, this is an Eastman. This is, you know... Yeah. I mean, this is the one we... we yeah, uh, we did that We earlier. just did a, a separate uh, review video on this guitar, and I gotta say, uh, I think this is kind of like we just did... Um, do you want a little bit ago with this Martin flat finish, the black one, what do they yeah. call that? Oh, yeah. I forget what it's called. Anyway, check out that video. It's yeah. really it's an amazing guitar. This is uh, one of those types of guitars that everybody that picks it up, don't care what your genre is, who your preferred maker is, yep. you pick this guitar up and you're like, whoa, you know, it's, uh, there's something there. And it's uh, the sound, the playability, and then you see the price and you're like, it's pretty amazing. Yeah. say is okay we were kind of going on this mahogany yeah. iconic guitar theme okay yeah so, so this is probably what you would say a replica of these icons you know yeah, i mean I'd that's which everything this is. is uh you know what are they uh, f- uh flattery or what are the yeah, best uh totally. something emulation yeah. is the highest form of flattery exactly uh this this is a recognition of the pivotal role mahogany yes. guitars have played in music yep. all genres throughout history uh, and so it's a recognition, not just of the artistic, but, you know, obviously driven by market forces. They're popular because they sound good and they work well throughout so many different types yeah. of styles. Um, you know, I think, you know, when you, if you were going to compare it theoretically, what you're comparing the mahogany against is the rosewoods and maybe harder woods and maples and whatnot. Maho- mahogany has this perfect place in the middle with, with a, a warmer tone. Um, it, but still, depending on your top wood, you can get excellent projection. Depending on your body style, you can get volume yeah. and depth. Uh, it's it's a great, uh, you know, uh, canvas to, yeah. to paint on with these other components of a guitar. And that's, you know, that's a great little bit of a, a example of mahogany, but... Mm-hmm. You know, there's many more. We should have, yeah. you know. Well, we, like we, we could, were saying, when we, we get the inventory, yeah. we'll, we'll run some blind challenges. Yeah. We'll, we'll challenge you to see if you can pick out the make, the model. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll keep something consistent, yeah. and we'll vary up some other things with maker or whatever. Yeah, but it's a nice I little mahogany taste. It gives you a little yeah. taste of the legend. So we'll let you uh, go on and kind of hear the differences. Yeah. Thanks, Quinn. You bet. All right, no, thanks for watching.